Well, that's the, that's the problem, and that's why there will always be a need for reconciliation. Because of expectations. Because of expectations. False expectations. Mm -hmm. People, because they are sinful creatures and they make mistakes, will not meet our mm -hmm. expectations. And of course, you know, there's a place for reconciliation and what that looks like in a healthy way, depending on the infraction. But the reality is, is even if forgiveness is one-sided, you know, to be able to forgive is the first step, We and we all have to take oh, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then when there is reconciliation possible, that should always be our aim because the Bible tells us that and because God gets glory from the reconciliation when it happens. But releasing people from our expectations mm. is the first step for that. In fact, my, my daughter and I, she lived with us, she and her husband and her daughter, um, because they were, before the second baby came along, they were renovating their home and they said that we, we only need to stay with you for one week because then everything will be done. <laughs> So we, we were in a place where we were renting our home, so it was smaller because we were biding our time for the next thing. Mm -hmm. So we were on top of each other, kind of like you were saying, and, and what I just said, what I was saying earlier, which there's always room, it wasn't room, it wasn't room <laughs> for everybody. Oh my but goodness. But we were, you know, two women who were married, who were stepping on each other's toes. Mm -hmm. um, and she had expectations of what it would look like for her and her family to be mm -hmm. in my home and how I was gonna be cooking for them every night, oh. all the things. <laughs> and and my expectation was that you guys are here and you're gonna be helpful to me because as my oldest daughter, right. you've always been helpful. Mm -hmm. I don't care that you have a husband and a child right. now, I still right. need you to be helpful. Right. Yes. So we both had expectations of each other and we both mm -hmm. were severely disappointing each other. And I'll never forget one night she came over and or she came into my room and she had tears in her eyes. She said, I think we're just gonna leave. I said, well, why would you do that? She said, because I don't feel like you want us here. And I'll, I'll never forget this conversation because we both had to be honest with each other yes, yes. about mm -hmm. how our expectations of one another were not fair mm -hmm. because one, we hadn't communicated them. Mm -hmm. And then two, we weren't giving each other the grace to disappoint and to be mm -hmm. honest about what we really could and couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And I said, listen, do you want to be here? Because I want you to be here if you want to be here. She said, yes. I said, okay, then stay and let's figure out what we have to do to make it work. But here's what I need you to hear me say. I love you and I want you here. And that is always the spirit of reconciliation, whether here is a physical place or Absolutely. or a or a or not. Yeah. Um, I love you and I want and I want you here, wherever here is. And then whatever the work is that we have to yeah. do to be able yeah. to occupy the spaces that are that are That's healthy good. for us to occupy. Mm -hmm. You know, I love you and I want you here. And in the spirit of that, then we work out the expectations. Um, and apologize yeah. for where we've disappointed uh, we each other. We don't do that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.